I am bitching about um, an AP journalist who was fired over her previous um, activism around Israel-Palestine. As I think many of us know, but a lot of folks, if you're sort of newer to this issue, um, there is a very well-known sort of um, conservative um, machinery that is both inside the U.S. right as well as the Israeli right um, that uh, likes to take down journalists and professors and pretty much anyone, actors, models, apparently now, um, uh, uh, pop stars uh, like Dua Lipa, uh, for speaking out around uh, human rights in Palestine. And so that uh, continues um, when it comes to journalists. It happened to Mark Lamont Hill and uh, CNN fired him a couple of years ago for his remarks around Palestine. Uh, and this week, that machinery came for a young journalist named Emily Wilder, a Jewish American journalist who was fired by the AP for being a student activist around Palestine. Um, remember, the AP was bombed in Gaza last week. Okay, this is that AP. They like took that and were like, mm, I guess we do need to fire this young Jewish journalist. Okay, we get it. We get it, BB. You got us. Um, just the most incredible amount of cowardice, in my opinion. And so um, I wanted to put up a statement that she wrote. And honestly, this statement I thought was just so well crafted and just really, really, really thoughtful and really gets to the heart of it. What, what is wrong with a lot of our uh, media, especially here in the United States when it comes to supposed objectivity. Um, this is Emily Wilder stating, I started at the Associated Press as a news associate, a junior level position on May 3rd, following 10 months of reporting for the Arizona Republic. In Arizona, I covered breaking news, criminal justice, and Black Lives Matter protests. I built a respected reputation in the newsroom and in the communities I covered and was proud to land a job at the AP you know, given her background and creded credentials. Last Monday, the Stanford College Republicans launched a smear campaign against me, attempting to expose my already public history of activism for, for Palestinian human rights at Stanford University. I was transparent with my editors and they reassured me I would not face punishment for my previous activism. I was told my editors were only hoping to support me as I received an onslaught of sexist, anti-Semitic, racist, and violent comments and messages. Less than 48 hours later, the AP fired me. The reason given was my supposed, po supposed violations of the AP's social media policy sometime between my first day and Wednesday. Um, in that interim, powerful conservatives like Senator Tom Cotton, Ben Shapiro, and Robert Spencer repeatedly lambasted me online. When I asked my managers which exact tweets were in violation of policy or how, they refused to tell me. In the end, rather than take whatever misstep I made as a teaching opportunity, as in as is the point of the news associate program, it appears they took it as an opportunity to make me a scapegoat. She continues, this is heartbreaking as a young journalist so hungry to learn from the fearless investigative reporting of AP journalists and to do this reporting myself. It's terrifying as a young woman who is hung out to dry when I needed support from my institution most. And it's enraging as a Jewish person who grew up in a Jewish community, attended Orthodox schooling and devoted my college years to studying Palestine and Israel that I could be defamed as an anti-Semitic and thrown under the bus in the process. I am one victim to the asymmetrical enforcement of rules and objectivity around objectivity and social media that has censored so many journalists, particularly Palestinian journalists and other journalists of color before me. The compassion that drove my activism is part of what led me to be a reporter committed to just critical fact-based coverage of undertold stories. Now, after being fired less than a week after my job, I have to ask what kind of message it sends to young people who are hoping to channel righteous indignation or passion for justice into impactful storytelling. What future does it promise to aspiring reporters that an institution like the AP would sacrifice those with the least power to the cruel tolling, trolling of a group of anonymous bullies. What does it mean for this industry that even sharing the painful experiences of Palestinians or interrogating the language we use to describe them can be seen as irredeemably biased? While the last few days have been overwhelming, I will not be intimidated into silence. I will be back soon. So that was a lot, but I think it was really important to read it all um, because of the way that she handled this. It's like very graceful, very honest and honest. And I think that it's the year 2021. Uh, it is very much a mask off project when it comes to Israel's ultimate goal with the Palestinian people. There is no desire for a two state solution. There's no desire for a one state solution. There's a desire for Bantu stands and militarized enclaves. That is it. And so 
for a reporter to honestly talk about that, even in her past, and still be fired for it is absolutely ridiculous. And I just feel like we're pe- we're beyond this moment. And I say this as someone who hopes to be employed one day again in the media. But of course, I've said a lot about Israel-Palestine, even just in the last week, which to be totally honest with you, and this is the effed up thing, yo, if I had been working at MSNBC now, I would like to think I'd say the same stuff, but I don't know. I don't know if I'd be scared as shit to say some and speak out, right? And that's this is the censorship and the self-policing when it comes to this issue that is completely out of touch with reality. Um, And if I had said something and if I had had a job, look, what I'm saying is if and when I'm a big deal, um, no, (laughs) but it's true. Like this kind of this kind of stuff comes for anyone, anytime. And and obviously it's like has to be a young woman, you know, just entering her like to the job field who gets taken down by, of course, a right wing um, effort. And it's sad that organizations like the AP out media outlets and, and and other folks don't see through this effort at such a bad faith attempt to smear somebody and they can't stand up to like, you know, a Mike Cernovich or some right winger or some or, you know, college Republicans on Stanford campus that they're going to be bullied into firing their own hire because of that BS. We can do better and I think we need to do better and I hope that we get to a point where we can all speak out and not fear retribution in the goddamn workplace. Have you become a patron yet? Patreon.com slash Bituation Room is where you can directly support this show. And people, there is a two-state solution, one-state solution. There's a... But I do best doing this.